All right, so red, white, land destruction. Uh, to start today, we're card for card what we finished with yesterday. I was pretty happy with this configuration. The revitalizes felt pretty good. This deck definitely wants to hit its land drops consistently and revitalize as a two mana cantrip that also buffers our life total, was a good way to, to get doing that. So uh, without further ado, let's uh, dive on in here and see how it goes. To be fair, this deck is incredibly interactive. It's a deck that's like killing creatures and lands. Like we're interacting with our opponent's stuff a lot. Multiple people have been paying to put this deck in the queue. Cause it's a hoot. Dan's very reasonable. Playing, like, Magic Online is so much faster than Paper Magic, and, like, playing Arena is, like, just so many light years faster than playing playing Magic Magic Online is. Just the, the rate at which the game play, the pace of play flows is just so much quicker. We've not tried putting Karn in this deck. I don't know, I don't know that I like, really want to worry about protecting Karn. Like a lot of the time this deck's using its health total as a resource pretty heavily. But maybe there should be, there, there is a second Crucible on the board, Kane. If you look at the deck list on the screen, that was something I added after the first or second time we played it. It's always funny when we shift from shift from Magic Online to Arena, because always like a really small dip in viewers, and then it just like steadily just like jumps up. The the few people who only prefer Magic Online leave, and then the people who only prefer Arena all come in. That's pretty good. This deck's a hoot. Like, if you would have asked me before we played this, like, what my favorite control deck was, it was, like, hands down the mono black um, Banefire deck. But, like, this one, this one's a lot, a good time for a, for a good time call. We are, unfortunately, still pretty far off of this Star of Extinction. We got, what, two more turns here? So we get two, we get one shot to draw a five mana sweeper. We get two shots to draw a three mana sweeper. So I'm gonna go ahead and revitalize here. It's like you're at a university teaching different courses back to back at the same room. Yeah, basically. So we're two, we have to take two hits here. It's a mix of the two, Trojan, for sure. I mean, Burgle, let's be honest. If Ponza was a competitive deck in Modern, it would be sweet and fun to play, right? It's just the issue with Ponza is that it's just not good. Uh, the camera's going in and out of focus because I, I move and bounce and bob while I play. I'm very, I'm very fidgety. I'm going to take their Siege Gang Commander away here so they can't throw goblins at me after I sweep the board. Um... I really don't need to search another land with this next turn. So I think I'm just going to go ahead and compass plus Dawn of Hope here. Just use my mana this way. So I'm at, I, if they sacrifice something here, I'm taking five, six, seven, eight, nine, and going to eight. So they need to not have eight burst damage here. And then we can starve extinction while Fountain of Renewal slowly claws us back in the game. 
Uh, if you were watching while we were streaming Modern, you might have to refresh your browser page for Duckmaster to start working. Great. Time for one of the two best animations in this deck. Star Star of Extinction and Crucible of Worlds are just two of the best animations in this application right now. They're fantastic. Oh, this is waiting on me. Bye, friends. All right, so this game, this game is over. My opponent, my opponent hasn't lost the game yet, but this game is over. No, they've not they've not announced it, Burgle. Which is unfortunate. And both the unranked queue and the events have like a pretty high like it's like 50% or so to play against medium decks, it feels like. Ever mentioned how much I love your streaming system with how proactive you allow your viewers to be? Thanks. Just, I just like to, I like to stay organized. I always, one of my biggest pet peeves when I'm like looking for something to watch is I hate when I have to click into someone's stream to find out what format they're playing. Like when streamers don't put like at the very least, like, like I understand like not updating your deck title with every deck that you're playing like I do, but like at the very least put like standard best of three, standard best of one, modern, limited, draft, etc., in your title for me. So I like can know what to expect without having to open your stream. What do I what do I want to do here? A couple of seal aways are probably probably fine. Honestly, I might just click submit here. It's like have have a bunch of sweepers, they have a bunch of creatures. Yeah, I wasn't, I wasn't sure. It's gonna be interesting to see like as the MPL folks all get set up and like become better streamers, get comfortable with their setups, what their what their viewer numbers look like and how they impact mine. But honestly, I think a lot of them are probably gonna end up playing a bunch of limited. So I'm not super worried about it. Limited, limited really isn't my market space. As good as Fountain of Renewal seems against their potentially aggressive deck, I need to bottom this looking for a land. I mean, having best of one exist is fine. Having best of one exist while simultaneously getting rid of best of three is not okay. So hopefully once the first official ladder season starts, it will include best of three. M MLP streamers, not FLP. MLP is the, the Magic Premier League folks. The, the folks that they're paying 75 grand a year to play Magic and stream. I mean, some people greatly prefer playing limited to playing constructed, and that's fine. You gotta remember, one of the things that makes Magic great is the fact that, like, there's so many different ways to play Magic. Like, Magic's great not because it's just standard or just modern or just limited. Magic's great because it's all of these different things. It's MPL, Magic Premier League, is the, is the acronym that they're using.
So they have three power in play, but I have Fountain of Renewal. So like I'm only taking two a turn here. Is it Pro League? I thought it was Premier League, but Pro League could be correct. Yeah, I think you might be right, actually. Might be, might be Pro League. And like, next turn, my compass is flip, which like knock locks another creature out. The people on both sides of the of the aisle that are saying like magic has to be best of three or it has to stay best of one, like those people are idiots and they're just spreading FUD. Like there's no reason magic can't support multiple, multiple games and formats. It already does that, right? Like it's okay to enjoy best of one, but it's also okay to be like, you know, I don't care for best of one and I'd rather only play best of three magic. The way, the way best of one is structured and how how the games play out, best of one, even with the same standard card pool, is a functionally different format than normal best of three magic. I shouldn't even call it normal. It's, it's a functionally different format than best of three standard. When, when magic was originally created, the the rules for that you could only have four of the single card in your deck didn't even exist. Richard Garfield didn't envision that people would chase down lots of different booster packs and trade cards and get multiple copies of cards. When Garfield created Magic, he knew cards like he knew cards like the Moxon were busted, but he just assumed if he made them rare in booster packs, people wouldn't have multiple copies of them because they were hard to get. That's, that's where his assumptions failed. You might take one hit here. He had he he's a very smart individual and makes some really neat interesting games But he definitely didn't envision everything that magic was going to become uh, This deck isn't on my website Draven because I'm not updating more standard stuff on my website this close to a new set dropping so after after the new set drops whatever this deck looks like I'll probably update that take the updated version and put it on my website but I'm not uh, putting more more content up there this close to to a new set being released. Can we kill someone with Reaper triggers only? Maybe. Can be that could be a tough one to do. Dawn Dawn, I hope Fountain Duel is a sweet engine to get going here. Rude. Need to kill my Dawn, I hope. Nope. Now I do need to be a little bit careful here because I actually cut the third Dawn of Hope from this list. So if they kill both my Dawn of, excuse me, Dawn of Hopes, I actually don't have a way to beat them outside of decking them. And usually we draw more cards than they do. So decking them isn't a super realistic option. The deck list is on your screen. If you don't have access to the stream decker widget, you can type exclamation point deck in chat to get a direct link to the deck list. I'm actually not going to play this out because I'm going to flip this compass over or this treasure map over. Morning, right, cat.
That one can stay right there. They're Midnight Reapers in weight condition for us, in a way, yep. Them killing Compass is really good for us here. Again, just like a little worried about losing all my Dawn of Hopes. So, they're keeping plenty of cards going here, but like, I also have, have plenty of sources of card advantage, so... Not super worried about this, especially with the Star of Extinction hand to clean things up. This is, this is the Twitch chat special. Oh. Not really looking for another land. Probably gonna double Clarion here. Ideally, I think I wanna hold the Star of Extinction until they have a Planeswalker I need to kill. Uh, SCTR, I'm actually going to be off tomorrow. Christy, Christy and I are closing on the, the new house tomorrow morning. You know what? Maybe I should have drawn the land guaranteed. All right, we got there anyways. So I'm going to be off tomorrow, and I'm going to be off Friday during the day, and then hopefully Friday night, I'll be all set up to stream from my new basement. So... I'll be I'll be live Friday night ideally and then I'm gonna do some weekend streams to make up for missing Thursday and then hopefully next week I'll be live all five days these stupid dinosaurs man these these dinos just don't give up chat they just they just don't quit. Yeah, I'm in a basement, but it's my basement. I own, I own the house. Nah, I don't think I'm gonna do the green screen. I kind of like the having a frame around me. Also, I'm not gonna have a, a formal studio set up right away. I need to, I need to have that built over the summer. So I'm just gonna be streaming out of the basement bedroom to start. Yeah, they're, they're tribal, they're tribal carnage tyrants. Thankfully, we're tribal sweepers. Bye, friends. I think they're pretty unlikely to play double Carnage Tyrant out. It's like, they know we have so many sweepers, I just really would just want to be mana efficient. I don't think there's any reason to get super greedy there. I built Esper Amulet and it's so satisfying when the opponent gets salty and picks up their cards. It's going on no back. Glad you're enjoying it. It truly is wonderful. Alright, so we're hoping to find 
We only played one Star of Extinction this game, or only through two. We're only through one Star of Extinction. And we need we need a space rock, I agree. Second second Bladewalker means the space rock is more important. I have a good number of draws here though, right? They're killing my Dawn of Hope. That's unfortunate. I'll be taking that. Now we want Star of Extinction more than anything here. Bombardment at some point to like clean up all their lands, but definitely in the in the market for Star of Extinction. I didn't make a token because I'm using my mana. I'm using I'm using my mana chat. I need to need to find a copy of Star. Morning, Toby. So there are three stars of extinction and third and twenty-eight cards. Since I know the bottom two, I get three scries here, or two if they kill this one. Opponents playing this really well, grabbing all their cards to pick apart my artifacts and enchantments. I like this sequencing from the opponent, just like playing their stuff to the board. They need to, they need to actually kill us, right? If they trophy this, I'm gonna scry and then decline, decline to uh, to search. Yeah, yeah, it's definitely, definitely a big week. It's gonna be, gonna be a big year. Jake, Jake starts kindergarten in the fall. He's five, he's gonna be five next month. Three months, that's longer than most of my relationships. Glad to be a part of Hoaglandia. Thanks for the quarter of a year, Ban Blood Moon. Have to say, I don't agree with every username, but yours is one I can get behind. Which room in the house will be known as the Hanner Wing? So if I activate this, I have seven mana left over. So yeah, I guess I activate this because I can still cast Star of Extinction. Might as well do this. One white enchantment into the battlefield. Gain two, draw one. When you cast an instant, return it to your hand. Maybe... That card, that card actually seems pretty good against the control matchup too, Nivik. Like, can help you grind stuff out. Actually, maybe I'm supposed to give them the elf there, because I'd rather they play a, a land I can kill, right? Show no mercy. I should figure out I should figure out something like that, right, cat? Get get something engraved. Maybe we'll get like maybe we'll get like a plaque plaques in the studio or something. Like something in the wall of the studio that like has all of the crown's names on them. Usernames. That could be that could be fun. The wall of honor. 
the these this is the the this the, these are the folks who built helped build Hooklandia. <laughs> these are these are my big employers. Yep, everybody helps, but the crown the crown they <laughs> they've they've sent a good deal. This building generously sponsored by <laughs> exactly. All right, that's a card. Hey, Samuel Carr, thank you very much for the brand new tier one sub. I appreciate that. Oh, this only cost me one. Is Watsy gonna wipe everyone's collection? No, they said there won't be another wipe. I uh, know they played trophy already. So if they have trophy, I don't know about it. I have a smaller crowd, so I'd be okay with just a couch or a chair. Uh, they conceded because they could no longer win the game. They decided they were done having fun, so they, they moved along with their lives. We had the win con all along. It was salt. Uh, I'm actually gonna put in a couple of Bane Fires. Just in case, um, I'll put one Banefire in. Like, Banefire is a fight with fire, like alternate win conditions in case these die, right? What matchups are hard for this deck? The Yeah, the red aggressive matchup has felt hard, but we haven't played the red aggro matchup since Revitalize was added, and the Revitalizes should help that. Yeah, when, you're, when your opponent actually makes you kill them, you kill them with tokens from Dawn of Hope. But often, often people just concede when they run out of permanence in play. It seems fine. Not amazing, but fine. Worth noting, Evolving Wild plus Crucible of Worlds is like an engine of sorts, which is nice. When your opponent knows what you're playing, don't be cheeky and wait to sacrifice this. Just get your land and get your auto pass value. Yes, this deck can kill all of its opponent's lands. It's quite, quite, quite hilarious. going on psychic robot we play standard almost every day on this channel i am gonna do a couple so next week is gonna resemble a little bit of my older streams um so next next week is gonna be all standard on monday all magic online on tuesday all standard on wednesday because Monday, I'm going to be on the front page of Twitch again, so I want to make sure we're playing Arena. And then Wednesday, we get the new set on Magic Arena, which is awesome. So super excited to play with new cards. Put this towards boxes and a plaque. Big congrats in the big week. We appreciate what you do. Thank you for all the support, Goalie. I really appreciate it. Shout outs to all the subs and crowns. Older Street Town. Not, not quite that old, Wannabe Beetle. Like, like end of 2018 old, not end of 20. Wow, this, this card's really good against us, huh? This card's really good against us. I think I just go ahead and do this, right? Just like keep my health total high. Draw. 
Uh, the new set comes out on Wednesday for the special streamer only event, and then everybody gets access to the new cards of the new set on um, whatever other day that was. Uh, I'm blanking on his name. Thursday. Thursday, everybody gets access. Sorry, I have to play you out just to die, Crucible, but I need my land drop. I've seen things that would break someone like you. When do you get the crown? The crown is the equivalent of 1,000 US dollars worth of bits. Yeah, kind of surprised that they're putting pressure onto the table instead of uh instead of just like playing this and killing my crucible i think they're undervaluing how important it is for me to hit every land drop yes my plan is still to dump all my common and uncommon wild cards you know you've been working at home a long time when you start to forget the days of the week yeah keeping having kids in school helps me with that but at least it's like, oh, this is day X. Jake, Jake, or Declan need to need to be here. Well, they're definitely going for the alt on Vivian. I was surprised they didn't play Vraska and use Vraska to kill the Crucible rather than play these two out. So do I cleansing Nova here or do I Clarion? I think I Nova. Yeah, th this matchup's really good for our deck, Burgle, for sure. Especially because we have Meteors to kill the Planeswalkers, too. Yeah, I think I think the play's gonna have to be half-hazard. Hope we hit the 25% to kill Vivian. We've beaten Vivian Ultimate with this deck before, but I don't think this is a game where that's going to be possible. Wild card imbalances. There aren't any wild card imbalances. There's an issue with how you can open fifth copies of cards that you already have, but wild cards are not unbalanced. Uh, Immortal Sun off the top also does it. These are also for plaques. Sounds good, right, Cat? I'm gonna have to talk to Christy. I think Christy will have a fun idea of making up something for that. I think that sounds like a fun idea once we finish the studio. I have faced worse than the likes of you. Is that Wizards of the Coast verified streamers only get that early access? Yeah, it's a streamer, it's a streamer only event, Samuel. It's people that have applied to be the official content creators. Unfortunately, Evolving Wilds is tapped. All right. Are you feeling lucky, punk? Are we are we feeling lucky, chat? Are are we feeling lucky? Survey says. Oh no. Arr, no! Please be greedy. Please be greedy. Please be greedy. Rats! Nothing stands before Rats! All right. All right. They were even conservative. So we're dead. I think we're dead. All right. Let's play. Let's play game three on the play. Yeah. Yeah. We, when we're in a position to beat the Vivian emblem, it looks our game. Our game state looks a little bit different. Onward, upward, backward, forward. Needed, needed a, needed an untapped land for that star, unfortunately, and did not have one. Can fight with fire hit a planeswalker without kicking it? It cannot.
No, you have to pick different things with your... You can't put a bunch of counters on the same thing. Can you? I don't think so. All right, now I don't know the text on my own card. So I have to, I have to read it. Choose four and not non-enchantment permanents you don't get. I'm pretty sure those have to be different permanents. Can a judge verify for me? Pretty sure, pretty sure they have to be different permanents. Yeah. Alright, we get the third land naturally, we get to compass for the rest of them. Woof, that feels bad. Yeah, definitely, goalie. All right. We're not, we're not dead on board. And we get two looks at an untapped land to play this Cleansing Nova. So hopefully let's survive here. This is nothing. Thirteen months starting to feel like a tryhard. Thank you, Anner, very much. Welcome, welcome, welcome back. I appreciate all you've done here in the last year, and thanks for re-upping at the tier three level again. Hope you're having a good Wednesday wherever you're at. Someone commented that they feel the Golgari matchup 50-50. I think that's completely incorrect. I think this deck is very heavily favored against Golgari in any game where it gets to actually play lands. So, how are we How are we doing, folks? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Good morning, good afternoon, good night, wherever you're at in the world. Thanks for dropping by here today. My name is Jeff Oakland. I'm a full-time streamer and content producer here on Twitch. I'm here playing Magic 30, 40, 50 hours a week. If you find yourself enjoying my content, please consider subscribing to my channel. My subscribers are the people that keep me employed here full time. I wouldn't be here day in and day out without their wonderful support. Past subscribing, you can also support my stuff by checking out some of my very wonderful sponsors. The NRG Championship Series is a Midwest tournament series that does $5,000 cash tournaments every single month in the Midwestern United States. If you can't um, get, make it out to their events, you can also check out their streaming coverage every single month at twitch.tv forward slash NRG series. Their next event's going to be this Saturday on the 12th. Cardsphere.com would love to help you turn your cards into other cards directly with other players. There's no haggling, and they just take 1% fee off the top. Namichill, I'm three, and I want Daniel Tiger stuff for my birthday. <laughs> Thank you for the 36 months. I appreciate that. What a, what a wholesome kid show to be watching. Daniel Tiger's Neighborhood. Thank you very much for the three years, Damichel. 
InkedGaming.com would love to help you customize your gaming experience. Using code Jeff12, you can save 12% on custom playmats, mouse pads, binders, and bags with them. You can upload your own custom artwork or choose from the wide range of custom artwork in their, on their website. And of course, I'd like to welcome everyone out there to Hoaglandia. I know there's a lot of great people making a lot of great stuff on Twitch right now. Thanks for dropping in here today. Remember, if you're enjoying the content, at the very least, follow my Twitch channel. That doesn't cost you anything. I'll let you know when I go live and with what. I'm here live with uh, magic content usually five days a week, although I am going to be off tomorrow and Friday because I'm moving this week. Um, if you really enjoy my content and you want to find more of it, you like how I, I dissect my plays and talk about what I'm doing and why, be sure to check out my YouTube channel as well, youtube.com forward slash Jeff Hoagland. Basically, everything I stream gets archived there, and I cut it all up by deck so you can watch just the stuff that you care about. We are heading on into our next match here with White Red Land Destruction. See if we can uh, get on the scoreboard here a little bit. Had a little bit of a stumble and die against Green Black last match. Is Namit still leading the way to your new house? He has the map. Maybe. So this hand needs a third land, but we're on the draw and we have lots of ways to help find those, hopefully. Looks like another Golgari matchup, potentially. Maybe get a rematch after stumbling last game. Honestly, Marty, I'm just super glad to be done dealing with paperwork for, like, applying for mortgages and stuff like that. What's going on, Elliot? What am I going to miss about my current house? I, I don't know. I'm not that attached to my current house. Tell us about the house. Your older crowds likes discussing things like real estate because... Going out or partying makes us feel sleepy or grumpy. <laughs> what's the what's the thing what's the thing I'm most excited about for the new house? I think the thing and this is I'm, I feel so old when I talk about things that I like that I like in houses. Um, the the new house has an open open kitchen into into living area, so like where you actually like cook and prepare your food is like open into the front room, which is really nice. Maybe this, maybe this Golgari matchup really is bad if you can never draw lands. Tough beat, tough beat, tough beat. The, uh, the sink in the kitchen at the new house also looks out into the family room, so I'm gonna be able to put a TV in the family room, and I can watch it from the kitchen while I do the dishes. Right, right now, I have this really, this really awkward setup where I put a shelf up over my kitchen sink because it faces a wall. All right, we hit the third land. Let's kill their board and hit the rest of our land drops from here. We we have a dishwasher, but like, um, the, we we still have the kids eat with plastic plates a lot of the time, and the plates that they use aren't dishwasher safe, so I hand wash most of the stuff. Feels like feels like a waste to run the dishwasher with just a few things. I don't like let, leaving dishes sit there for a while. Thankfully, it looks like this opponent is flooding a little bit, and Screw often beats Flood. It doesn't have what's technically an island, but the counter space is long, so it like wraps around in between, in between like where the table is going to be for the kitchen and where you prepare stuff. Yeah, right, Boshek. For the, for the time being, it's worth not having. Not having breakable plates in children's hands, but it does make it does make washing stuff a little bit more tedious. A full year, maybe now my Google Daddy will be proud of me. What's going on, extras? Thanks for the 12 months. I knight the defender. Ooh, excuse me, of the realm. Go forth and protect us from Twitch. I'm sorry. That was gross. That's so disgusting. What do you think of Fountain of Renewal plus Dawn of Hope with the new 
Dovin and the split card that makes Thopter's gain life. I'm not sure that Dovin's gonna be a good control card. Like, one 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 deck that does sound sweet is I do is I am I am looking forward to there I think there's gonna be a really sweet blue white artifacts deck because like curving Dovin into Karn into Tezzeret sounds fantastic. Just like blue white super friends, you get some Tefri in there too. Sounds quite fantastic. All right, so I probably need to sweep the board this turn, huh? I'm not targeting their memorial to folly here because um, I'm not targeting the memorial to folly here because they'd sacrifice it in response and then my spell would be countered. The more subs thus far you have, the higher percentage of subs that you get. That's actually not true, Matt, man. That's not, that's not true anymore with the way Twitch Prime works. So... With, with twi how how Twitch subs and the amount of money streamers get these days, um, there's just two tiers. There's some people get a 50-50 split and some people get a 70-30 split once you're large enough. My stream has grown to the point where I'm in the in the 70 part of the 70-30 split. Because, like, remember, the amount of money some of these places give, like, Twitch Prime is, like, Amazon just giving us money anyways, right? So, like, they'd just be giving us more money. Why not save Star for possible Carnage? Because both of these kill Carnage Tyrant, too. Like, all, all three of these cards kill Carnage Tyrant. Oh, I could have sequenced that in the other order, right? Because I could have made... I could have... The compass cost one. Yeah, I've, I always forget the cost reduction. Chat is super correct. Do I even do that? I probably don't, right? Like, I have double... I have double maze here. I'm not targeting Memorial to Folly because I don't want them to sacrifice it. It's, it's really funny, Goalie. Couple of stone rains. Give them the stone rain. Give them the stone rain. We've not played a mere match. That sounds like true misery, though. We even we even stumbled this game, which was impressive. Uh, the win con is Dawn of Hope. Dawn of Hope is the win condition. Someone played Dead Guy Ale and got top 16 at the SCG Classic. That's pretty sweet. What are your thoughts on Hexproof versus Shroud? I mean, Shroud's patently more fair, right? It's like not interactive in every direction. Yeah, post, post board, we have Fight with Fire and Bane Fire and History of Banali, technically as well.
for people asking, this deck's actually been added back to the queue by a different person every day this week. If there's one thing Twitch chat loves, it's blowing up people's lands. If I've learned, if I've learned anything in my years streaming, it's that Twitch chat likes destroying people's lands, okay? Uh, in OBS, you can tie specific actions to hotkeys, which includes, um, what's the word I'm searching for? Which includes, uh, showing, displaying things on your screen, like, uh, like images, like the mute icon. So I have a hotkey on my keyboard that when I press it, it mutes my microphone and toggles the mute icon. That's really good. It's not quite a land, but it's pretty close. So when you destroy things with lands like Memorial to War, you want to make sure you kill lands that don't have the bombardment counters on them. And the reason for this is you want to, if we draw another bombardment later, the new bombardment will see these counters that the old bombardment put on and be able to kill these things for us, which is nice. So flooding, flooding a little bit here, but we're just like, you know, a meteor from being back in the game, basically. I get to Spires, they're 3-2 here. I'm gonna get to Memorial to war them off the Swamp. This is at five, do I wanna play out the treasure map? I think I, think I do, cause it's worth scrying to something meaningful. And also, like, make sure this doesn't ult on us, which is nice. What's going on, Mile? I mean, there's there's fair ways to interact with lands in standard too, goalie. It's just like utility lands aren't super common. I just can't keep that, because otherwise I'm gonna be dead on board. I guess I could put counters on these, but there's so many counters on other things that Yeah, we're just dead.
I don't I don't think that's true, Yenit. Like, like, and again, like, people really like one of the things you need to be able to break yourself of to become a good magic player and like be able to evaluate decks as you're like learning and watching them, especially in small sample sizes, is like break yourself of being results-based, right? So like watching a game like that and coming to the conclusion that like we're bad against creatures or like these creatures are good against us we're like we didn't draw any spells and like our one meaningful spell was taken via a duress is like kind of just being super results based you need to like take a step back from what you're watching and think about like what's occurred in the game before you draw conclusions of this was good or bad against the deck that you're watching jason findy thanks for the three months welcome back we appreciate the quarter of a year And I just don't think that's true, Yenit. Like, I just, I really just think they're just like another creature most of the time. Like, our deck, our deck isn't, so like, I get that I named the deck Red White Land Destruction, but Land Destruction is one of the ways we lock up the game after we've won, basically, like, after the board is clear. So like, it doesn't really matter how many lands our opponent has, because our deck kills so many lands. So it's not like there's a this meaningful difference between them having, you know, three lands and them having, uh, you know, six lands a lot of the time. Red, 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 white sweepers is probably a better name. Calling, calling this red, white land destruction is like as close to a clickbait title as you'll get on my channel. See, I don't, I don't think prison or stacks are are meaningful things to call it either. Especially if you compare like what archetypes that we call those in other formats are doing. Do I regret going to grad school? No, not at all. I had a lot of fun during grad school. Grad school also cost me zero dollars. Like it cost me. There was an opportunity cost to going to grad school, but like I enjoyed my time I spent there. Went to, I went to grad school because uh, the grad program paid for it, not me. Second Clarion's really good here. Clarion, my wayward son. There'll be peace when you are gone. Lay your weary head to rest. Don't you cry no more. What's the cheapest deck to get started with on Magic Arena? Definitely the mono blue tempo deck. Not close. Definitely, definitely mono blue tempo. All right, so am I supposed to star just to take this stupid Vraska off the table? They might, they might down tick and just trade for this, which suck, would suck for us. Deaf Lobster with the five month resubscription. There's the power play right there. They're deaf, so they don't have to listen to my singing. That's, 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 that's all upside being on this channel and not having to listen to me sing. I do get to kill the memorial too with the star, which is like meaningful. I could just, like, activate uh, Dawn of Hope this turn. I, like, the problem with using my Star of Extinction is that, like, I don't have... I don't have more interaction or gas after this, so I think I'm just passing. I think, I think I'm just passing. I'm gonna play Crucible, actually, and pass. I'm gonna play Crucible, activate Dawn of Hope. I think the Star of Extinction needs to take some more things with it. I think, I think there's a good chance they upped it the Vraska this turn anyways, and it gives me a chance to kill any creatures they might play out. This does have the downside, though, now of they've chosen to... They've chosen to not... Um, 
play anything else out here, so I can't kill the Memorial to Folly now, which is meaningful. So I'm going to attack with this to gain my one. We're not going to draw a card because so I'm going to play Star of Extinction and clean the board up because I don't want them to down tick this and kill another artifact or enchantment for free. Nah, I don't think I want to wait another turn. I think letting them kill one of these would be would be not worthwhile. Especially once I've played my tap land. I agree. Compass, Compass and Sweepers are fantastic together. I really, I really want to, I really want to try a, a blue-white Planeswalkers deck that could probably involve Compass too, just like, um, Dovin, Karn, Tezzeret, like those, those together sound quite great. That's pretty good. I am currently out of Sweepers. Mono, mono sweeper deck, currently out of sweepers. It's like targeting, targeting Woodland Cemetery is marginally better. It doesn't matter. You do, I do have things to block their things. That's very true. Yeah, is it, is it Drake's? It's great. I'd argue it's probably one of the three best decks in the format. I think Drake's Just Guy Control, Green Black, and White Aggro are like the 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 three big ones. I think I'm gonna make a token, chump block their two three, and then just pay two to draw a card. Happy seven months. How much of a dono for you to get to play a shooter game like COD or Fortnite? I don't know the answer to that question. How about Overwatch? We've played Overwatch. Does that, does that count as a shooter game? I like, I know, I know how that one works. So like Star of Extinction resolves here, but they get to draw three cards. Who do I usually play in Overwatch? Uh, usually I play uh, Brigitte, Mercy, or Soldier 76 if I'm gonna point and shoot people. I like, I like, I like Brigitte and Ryan the most though, because I don't have to aim with them. You just get to smash people. That's why I like Mercy too. Just like don't have to aim. I play characters that don't have to aim and 76. They, they reduced the splash damage on Farah, right? Because I did play a little bit of Farah because you really didn't have to aim too much with her either, but they reduced her splash damage. And the 76 ult is great. Yeah, I haven't played since they added the, uh, I played a little bit after they added Hammond, but I haven't played since they added the, the uh, cowboy girl. Western girl, cowboy girl can't be can't be the correct phonetic. What's the what are the correct uh, pronouns for that? Cowgirl, it's just cowgirl, right? It's cowgirl, all right? It's cowgirl, cowgirl, cowgirl is the correct correct uh, the correct vernacular. Thank you. Uh, I believe it's too late for me to add an upkeep stop. Yeah, it's too late for me to add an upkeep stop. Thanks, Watsy. I guess this kills this. But I don't really care about that, right? Because I have Dawn of Hope. If you want to watch a uh, stream Overwatch, follow my wife's Twitch channel there. Usually I just keep card games on this channel because there's a lot of people who don't want to watch me fumble around in Overwatch. And usually when I play Overwatch, I play with my wife. So we stream on, stream on her channel. And if you're a sub, you should pop into the subs discord. It's been a hot second since we played Overwatch, but the last time we did play, we played with a bunch of subs, which was a good time. Because playing with randoms in Overwatch is kind of dry.
Once we once we get settled in at the new house, we'll probably probably do another Overwatch night or two. It's been a hot second since we've played. So I can actually just double token here and then double block. Uh, we we play on uh, we play on the PC Master Race. We play we we play on the on the platform where video games are meant to be played. I almost messaged you. I'm following your wife now, but that would have sounded weird. <laughs> oh. Oh, would you look at that? I think I think I, I think I heard I zonies are going extinct this time of year. Boop that one on the nose, shall we? Pew pew. Thunk. Yeah, the fact that we get to tag the memorial there too is a big deal. And this uh, this revitalize with the Dawn of Hope in play actually draws two cards here, which is great. So I've got, oh jeez. All right, I've got this. Uh, do I start Memorial to Warring them? I already played my land for the turn. Maybe that was a mistake. It's possible I'm supposed to start Memorial to Warring them. No, they took my other Dawn of Hope. That's scary. Long live magic, long live teamer, long live nexus of balance. <laughs> I I wonder if they're gonna end up with a different ban list for best of one Nox, because Nexus of Hope does not seem fair for that format. I, I really feel like like best of one's like basically a different format, so. I feel like they should probably eventually have a different band list for it. Yeah, yeah, just like this needs to. And went 7-0 with Turbo Fog three times in a row. Yeah, and it's gonna get the new the new Explore card is really messed up. So they're getting an Izoni back next turn, and they're gonna have all of their lands when they get it back. You know what? I'm probably supposed to. I think I'm supposed to memorial to war one of their black sources here so they can draw fewer cards after I sweep their Izoni. So I'm just taking them off their black sources so they draw fewer cards. Uh, that is the Professor Knox in chat, by the way, so you should make sure to give him a follow on Twitch if you're not already. Wilderness Reclamation also seems also seems wild. I mean if I if I field the guild gate, they just uh they just like get a swamp, right? Oh really? They're getting Vraska? Oh, I wonder if they think we just can't kill them. They might they might think I don't have wind conditions. I definitely boarded in Banefire though. Definitely have Banefire in my deck. Hey, what's going on, Ghost Stalker?
I have Bane Fire and two Fight with Fires. Have I burned either of those yet? I've not. So I get to Star of Extinction, this Swamp, and then Memorial the other. So they're all out of black mana except for this treasure. like grind them into the dirt here One of these artifacts down here, Scryes. Take another compass, sure. Red Memorial does not care about basics. It's literally strip mine. So we're going to strip mine them every turn for the rest of the game, and then eventually we'll play enough lands to uh, Banefire them. I think there's basics left in my deck. Last basic, got it. Why is the opponent still playing? I don't know. They, 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 maybe they think we can't win. Uh, there's bane fires in the sideboard. This is a post board game. This is game three of this match. Bombardment, sign me up. All right, so let the let the stone raining begin. <laughs> uh, this this deck is just such a work of art. Just the old the old trip stone rain. So for people that aren't familiar or just tuning in, Half-Hazard Bombardment could target four of their lands. So we were going to kill two of their lands a turn for the next three turns and eventually end up killing all of their lands so they had nothing left. And then at some point, we draw Banefire and cast it for lethal. But they were pretty done playing Magic that game. You, you very rarely actually put your opponent to zero with this deck. Usually you just like beat the hope out of their eyes and then and then they concede. The old razzle dazzle. Get him. This hand's missing a third land, but the spells are really good. And if I go to miss my land on three, the revitalize gives me a redraw towards hitting it. And once I find my third land, the thematic compass is going to find me all subsequent land drops, which is great. This card's so good. Just can't can't put into words how great this card's been in just every shell we've tried it in. It's good in the mono black uh, Banefire deck. It's been great in this deck. Really fantastic overall. Hey, look, another another green black. Why not playing the best of three? I am playing best of three constructed. If you mean why I'm not playing in the actual events, because I don't really care about I don't really care about getting in-game gold. And like the this gives us the flexibility to change uh, our deck in between matches. Do you think competitive constructed should be best of three on arena? I think they should offer both best of one and best of three. Having watched a lot of best of one, um, best of one genuinely looks like it's a different magic format. And that's fine. It's fine. Magic's great because there's so many different formats in it. But best of one isn't a format that I enjoy, so I don't play it. I think I just passed here. I want to keep hitting all my lands. I'm gonna try and get to this on time. I mean, best of one uses the standard card pool. How much money do I pump into Arena to get this deck, just the main deck? I have no idea. This deck's got a lot of rares in it. Yeah, my my you know you know who farms cards for me on Arena? My subscribers. I take I take all that sub money and I give it directly to Wizards of the Coast. And they give me magic cards to play with. It's a good, it's a good setup, really.
I'm pretty okay with getting trophied here. Like, it's one of my two win conditions, so I'm going to need to be a little bit conservative with the second Dawn of Hope, but getting an extra land here sooner is, like, pretty good spot to be, especially with the Immortal Sun in my hand. Even if they hit a discard spell here, I've got a bunch of good sixes. Oh man, you know what's gonna be great? We are gonna we are gonna cleansing Nova, kill artifacts and enchantments next turn. I'm gonna lose my thematic compass, but I'm fine with that. I love I love the hidden mode on this card. It's so good. I think it's worth losing the compass in a matchup like this to like wipe all these things out of play. Good night. Pop goes the weasel. This deck would love Assemble the Legion. Yeah, see, seal away search for Ascanta doesn't work for multiple reasons. Let's just get this down and start drawing extra cards. Want to generate some some card advantage here. Get to play the treasure map out also because it makes it cheaper. Unfortunate that we're going to lose a bunch of our bombardments here. Thanks for the great content. Lep, thanks for the two-month resub. I appreciate you shipping your Beza Bucks back this way again this month. Welcome back. Tilt. Right, Goalie? Nah, I don't think so. I think getting getting the map into play is pretty valuable. a land out of my deck before I flip this. They're going to make me discard it to Disinformation Campaign, but I think that's fine. Just rather have one more spell in my deck. Or one less land in my deck. One more. A little bit, a little bit higher action density. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see. Like, decks that don't have win conditions are usually pretty okay matchups for us, but the fact that my opponent was able to get rid of all my Half-Hazard Bombardments does make it more difficult to power through what they're doing and they have things like assassin's trophy to interact with my artifacts and enchantments so if they have a bunch more trophies in their deck we could be in trouble here yeah crucible crucible would be a good draw for us for sure maybe i'm supposed to keep that just because i want a memorial to war them this turn oh uh, that wasn't a map it was uh it was a uh, a fountain of renewal but that might, it might have been worth keeping, honestly. It, like, puts a card on the table instead of in my hand. Yeah, I think, I think you're right that I should have kept that. Missed the upkeep stop to scry. Not a huge deal. only have planeswalker wind conditions what are what are the odds they only have planeswalker wind conditions 
There's like a very real chance that that's the case, right? A white memorial could be interesting. I don't know if you can afford a fifth tap plan though. Maybe they just have Eldest Reborn as a win con. That could be the case. That would be really funny. Yeah, because if Eldest Reborn is their only win con, they actually can't kill us, right? I've seen, I've seen some people playing control X with only Eldest Reborn. Like, usually that's fine, right? Like, you get something out of them to kill them with eventually. I think I keep this because Crucible plus Field plus Memorial are, like, all good cards to have here. And, like, they're probably just going to pick my hand apart with this card spells anyways. Yeah. Yeah, likely have Carnage Shards post board. It's one of the reasons I left, like, Star of Extinction in my deck. It's kind of funny how, like, when you're playing against things like Thought Seize and Thought Erasure and Inquisition of Coast, like, how just, like, all traditional mulliganing, lo mulliganing logic just, like, gets thrown out the window. You're just like, actually, we're not going to do that. How did Sultai go? Sultai put Sadness on the stack and then Sadness resolved. It's not a, it's not a good scene. You want, you want your best cards to, like, roll off the top of your deck after you're going. So, so you could say Sultai performed at expectations in Modern. I didn't play Crucible because I don't want them to be able to kill it before it gets to play a land out. So basically, if I wait till there's a land in my discard pile, I get to guarantee draw a card with the Crucible. Which is nice. And there's a good chance it gets countered either way, but this gives me a chance to draw a card with it. Is there a way to skip the tutorial? I believe if you hit escape, you can, Nivik. Maybe, I, I genuinely don't remember. Yeah, that's that's a good, that's a good read. There's also a chance to like have a basic forest, but wanted to leave Sinister Sabotage up this turn and like have other, yeah, have other green sources in their hand. I'd be kind of surprised if there's not a forest in their deck. So I'm not popping this Fountain of Renewal because I want extra permanence in play to work towards getting the City's Blessing sooner. So we can start activating Arc. By using the Thematic Compass, even though I have other lands in my hand that I could play already, I'm concealing information about some of the cards that I have in my hand. Gives them, gives them a little bit less info about what to play around potentially. Yep. All right, so if we don't get Spell Pierce, we'll be in a good spot. We're definitely starring just to kill this. Did they see Ark when they duress? They might have, Marty. I really wish we had a small indicator down here that showed, like, which cards they knew about. Go after their blue mana to start. Try and choke them off of, like, double counter spells. Oh, they have, they have a treasure. Oh, they have a treasure. They can negate us. I always forget the treasure mana. Oh. Brutal. I mean, if they if they have a counter this turn, they're going to have it in the future. One of the things you have to remember is that this deck doesn't have and they have discard spells. This deck doesn't have counter spells or discard of its own so the only way we play beat get through our opponent's counter spells is to just play into them and play through them basically 
So, while it feels bad to get our seven mana effect syncopated there, like, we don't really have a, a different option in the long term. Yep. So, I am one permanent short of the city's blessing at the moment. So I can't activate this just yet. Mm, that feels good. Feels, feels good. All right. So unfortunately, we are not at the point where I can start wastelanding my opponent yet with this memorial to war start killing their lands. I need to I need to answer the Vraska and these tokens on board. What ways can I donate for having a deck in the queue? I'd like to see it on stream again. Uh bits or or direct PayPal donation. Details on how to submit a deck can be found here. So PayPal donation directly via my Streamlabs link or um or bits in chat. Do I like limited? I don't really play limited, no. It's just not my cup of tea. Me too, Seth. This deck, this deck's been a lot of fun. Feels a little bit bad. It's not like all downside though here because, um, hey Seth, is this your, is this your MLP account by the way? Is this where you're gonna be streaming from on there? If so, you should definitely give, uh, it looks like the Seth Manfield. Should give him a click and a follow if you want to watch good magic players play magic. I mostly play memes on this channel. If you wanna if you wanna watch a good magic player play magic sometime, you should definitely give Seth a follow. <laughs> uh the best way to talk to me, uh Seth, definitely uh Discord. Wow, rude. Like that feels bad to a degree, but we also like got Assassin's Trophy out of their hands. So like that means our next permanent potentially gets to gets to stick around longer. If I wanted to watch good magic, would I be here? Fair. Fair. <laughs> we're we're honest about what occurs on this channel. Double double history here is not bad. Double double history is not bad. It's gonna pump out pump out some stuff to pressure this Fresca potentially. I think I'm probably going to crack the Fountain of Renewal at end of turn here. Again, just like, even though we've got the histories in play, probably still want to dig for another Star of Extinction because this Vraska is a big deal. These pirate tokens notably have Menace, so my Knights don't really block them profitably. Although I guess I don't even want to attack yet because in two turns, I'm going to have four six fours. I think I just kicked this. This is at six, right? Yeah. Like we could, could get counterspelled here, but again, don't have counterspells for own, just need to play through them. Sweet, all right. Um, do I want to offer a trade here? I think I offer the trade here because I still just have lethal in play next turn and there's a chance if my opponent has a sweeper, they're going to play it out. Interesting. They didn't... I wonder if they have like golden demise. Why wouldn't they take the trade? Okay. Okay. Makes a lot of sense. Maybe I don't want these history of Benalia's in if they're, if they're going to have golden demise in. I think that's probably the case. I think it just tries to divide it up evenly, Nox. I think it just like randomly picks it. So, like when you pick two things, it does five, five, right?
All right, so I think my bombardment wants to go after their green mana here. So we'll take green, black, green, black, and then blue, black, blue, black. JK, LOL. Ha! They had disdainful strokes. So this is this is actually an important rules interaction for people that might be newer to magic. You may or may not be familiar. So even though kicked fight with fire, we paid nine mana for, the converted mana cost on a kicked fight with fire is still the three that's printed in the corner. So you can't disdainful stroke a kicked fight with fire. Because even though nine mana was paid, the converted mana cost is still only three. I think I'm actually just casting this. I don't mind attacking a green source and like leaving this in my hand is really susceptible to things like disinformation campaign if they draw literally any, if they draw literally any uh, surveil card. So I think I'd like to just like play the card that I draw every turn ideally here. Yes, you can expansion a kick fight with fire. That is correct. In fact, there was a deck at the World Magic Cup that was a Jeskai control deck that um, there is a Jeskai deck at the World Magic Cup that was designed around doing just that. Now, Ixalan's binding this disinformation campaign could wind me up in trouble because if they have another Assassin's Trophy, they could kill this binding during my draw step to take my card away next turn. Uh, someone asked about Banefire. X spells, and this is where some of those things were magic. It's a little confusing. X spells explicitly have the X included in their converted mana cost, so it's a little bit different. I'm going to kill their Woodland Cemetery here just in case they have, like, a Carnage Tyrant as a double green spell. They do still have a green mana, notably from this treasure, but this does cut them off of double green. Well, we, whole, we both got a whole lot of nothing going on here. Is that a good one? I think that's a good one. Would not be surprised to see a counterspell here. They've been sitting on a couple of cards here, so probably just a bunch of reacted stuff. Uh, if my opponent had surveilled something to the top of their deck, I definitely would have. This is actually one of our better draws here. Just like get to sit here and draw cards they can't counter they need another assassin's trophy for and like they already had a good assassin's trophy let's see if they have a forest in their deck it's been it's been a good game of magic been a lot of good back and forth slogging it out here There's also Thin's a basic out of our deck, which is like, they're out of basics. That's good to know. So I'm actually not going to play this Fountain of Renewal out here. And the reason why I'm not playing the Fountain of Renewal is because if I play it, I can't activate my arc this turn. And I'm okay if they like play a discard spell and take this. them off green mana here wow that's a good one woof how many compasses am i through a couple that's terrifying Need a, a compass or a star of extinction here, or my other excellence binding.
I'm doing X's five here because I don't want them to counter this. And he dive, dive down would have been a little tilting. That card, that card can't hit us. There's, there's only 23 cards left in my deck. We really can't afford for that card to hit us. We haven't decked out with this deck before, but I feel like there's a chance that that could be coming. Oh, I'm out of basics. I should have counted. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, I snort sometimes. <laughs> that was, that was great. Should we do one more? I think we should do one more. Let's do, ah, let's do, let's do one more. Let's do one more. <laughs> we've got we've got other decks to get to. We're playing Esper Nexus next. Esper Nexus is also a fantastic salt farming deck. You can find the deck list on the screen via the Stream Decker widget. You can also find the deck list with a direct link by typing exclamation point deck in chat. Sure. This is this my build or someone else? We started with a deck list from Ali Andrazi, who writes for uh, CoolStuffInc.com, just like I do. And uh, we've been making some small edits. So like Revitalize is one of the big changes that we've made that I've liked a lot. But the, the core of the haphazard uh, sweeper-based control deck definitely came from Ali. What's going on, Magus? Yeah, we're gonna be live for a good, good stint yet. Another five or six hours or so. Just like another control matchup. One planes, please. Mono blue is a very hard matchup for this deck, for sure. You could you could definitely build this deck to be better against mono blue, but as constructed, we're definitely got a lot of clunk and counter spells plus pressure are very good against us. Sabotage me, baby. Yeah, don't, if your opponent doesn't concede, you usually your consent your win condition is salt, chat. The the preferred win condition is the sodium rising up from the other side of the board to envelop your opponent. But should your opponent survive the sea of sodium, uh, you kill them with Dawn of Hope. Okay, getting our compasses countered here seems really good for us. No one survives the sea of sodium. That's pretty gross. Bumping Esper Amulet to be played today. JK, what's going on, Coons? It's gonna be up next anyways. It's gonna be sweet. And like, even if our hand gets beat up here, like we have the arc in play, which is gonna like let us generate card advantage just sitting on board. These biddies go towards Grisius Conjecture in either new standard. So you want it explicitly for new standard right cat or the current format? Let me, let me know. Happy to get them applied either way. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and activate this before my end of turn, because this is gonna flip, so I'd like to fill my hand up. New standard, perfect. Yeah, exactly, Gwalger. I'm taking, I'm taking tomorrow off and the start of Friday to get moved, so gotta, gotta mine all the sodium we can before that. 
Oh yeah, I forgot I had the field of rune in my in my graveyard, right? So I should just play the land out of my bin. Yeah, that's true. Keep the extra land in my hand to discard another thing. It's a good catch. Yeah, the, the Crucible of Worlds is fantastic. I agree. So, I get to Cleansing Nova here to kill the demon. And then they're going to surveil something to the top of their deck. And then something that's important to note about Field of Rune's text is that searching and shuffling your library with Field of Rune is not optional. So even once my opponent pays a bunch of health to get the right card on top of their deck, I'm going to field them and make them shuffle. When's the next modern day? Uh, sometime over the weekend. Sometime, sometime over the weekend. I think I'm going to be live Friday night after I get all set up at the new house from my, my new room in the basement, but uh, I think I'm going to just do Arena Friday night. We'll see. We'll see how long I stream for, what the, what the numbers look like, but I'll be on at some point Friday. So either Friday Friday or Saturday for, for ma more Magic Online. You got me. Uh, it's technically not Jake's first time moving. Jake was like six months old when we bought this house, but it's the first time he's going to remember moving. Oh, worth noting, all of these cards are the same in my discard pile as they are in my hand, so like, this disinformation campaign doesn't really matter for a while. Did they not get a basic last time? Was anybody paying attention? Someone said Field of Rune Lock. Did they not get a basic? They did? Okay, yeah. It's not... I'm I'm out of basics in my deck, so I prefer not to put myself down a land every turn. So, I'm not going to Field of Rune them aggressively. Just being blue-black, my opponent likely has a lot of... They're going to take our Crucible, chat! How are we supposed to kill all their lands? If they take our crucible, oh no, they're stealing our booty. They've taken all of our booty away. We've been, we've been plundered. They're coming for your crucibles, chat. Hide, hide your crucibles. Whew. Whew. Thank God. Thank God we found a cleansing Nova. Thank goodness. All right. If I can't have it, nobody can have it. I'm taking my ball and I'm going home. I like this line. Fungal fungal infection their own thing here. Get the get the one one going on. Good use of their card. They can't interact with Dawn of Hope, right? I'm just going to discard the second. What a, what a tilt. What a tilt. Dream Eater and Dispersal. Okay. Those are pretty uncommon though, especially if I can keep cards in my hand. They might, they might have Dream Eater. That's fair. They can't, you can't Hostage Shaker Enchantment. Hostage Shaker is artifacts and creatures only. I'm going to take the hit from this because I would, I would like to activate Dawn of Hope this turn. They have 32 cards in their deck. That, that metric is unfortunately one of the ones that the uh, overlay does not show. Yeah, yeah, over so over the weekend, uh, the professional esports organization Tempo Storm added a Magic the Gathering team 
to their, their lineup of folks that they sponsor. And Red Bull, NVIDIA, DX Racer, all those folks in the wonderful blue scroller down there below me. They are uh, Tempo Storm sponsors and thus sponsors of this stream now. G gaming chair, energy drink. We've got a protein bar sponsor too. We basically hit the esports trifecta. Hey, Najo Mage, thank you very much for the very generous tier two sub. I appreciate that. Welcome, welcome. Uh, my tier two subs get to pick a deck in my queue every single month to bump up to see played a little bit sooner. I really appreciate that support. Need a Fedora sponsor. Uh, we are supposed to have jerseys coming at some point. So I have eight mana here, so I get to make two Dawn of Hope tokens. We could draw two per thing with the second Dawn of Hope, but I can just like draw more cards by making more tokens here too. Seal away is dispersal protection. It's one of the, the upsides of playing it out here, which is nice. Yep. Yeah, this is this is our win condition. This is this is how we actually kill them. I guess this does expose this card in my hand to a discard spell right now. the land is dispersal protection i forgot about that interaction that's a good memory do i want to kill this stupid dog i think i don't want to kill it this is still game one so like i have like deafening clariads and stuff in my deck to kill the dog but like it was yesterday what's going on derosis thank you for the five months i appreciate you re-up and welcome back thanks for keeping me employed here what is in their hand do they not have counter spells maybe they just don't kill about their lands I can get pirates added for you, Najo Mage. That sounds good. Oh, they're getting rid of my bombardment. Rude. This is good doing this in response to the uh, response to the spell. And they get rid of their stupid dog here. You got me. So cleansing is symmetrical. So if I cleansing the campaigns, I also lose my Dawn of Hope and my Dawn of Hope is how I win this game. So they have 24 cards left in their deck. Well, I don't really want to hold lands either because disinformation campaigns punishes me holding cards. You think I'm going to kill them via attacking? I don't know. I think I could win via the Dawn of Hopes. I don't have enough to make two more tokens, so I'm just gonna get a guaranteed draw with the arc here. You got him. 
He's he's dead. Yeah, you, you have you have much contempt for my one one. Man, Magic Arena on phones when this board's not even that big, right? Like I don't even have creatures in play. Yeah, someone else had talked about uh, White Memorial earlier too, which is, it's an interesting idea for sure. Wow, this is decking them a lot. All right, so they're on a 17 cards in their deck for a card that can't attack through Spires. No, it, that's a, it, the, the phone comment is a joke because people often ask, act like they want to play Magic Arena on their cell phone. What's going on, Pikes? This is, this is a fan favorite. On phones, an auto tapper is disabled. That's like the stuff nightmares is made of. They are down to 17 cards in their deck. I think we could realistically run them out of run them out of run them out of cards here. I really wish it would choose default options like this for me instead of making me click on the only card in my hand. It did that at one point. I really wish it would start doing it again. I am How many Star of Extinctions have I gone through? Just two? Two Star of Extinctions. And there's still a copy of, um, what's that card called in my deck? The, uh, the draw two card. I mean, the orcs, while the orcs being let go is like sad for them, it's like pretty standard business operating procedure. Someone said the minimum wage was going up and they moved it to someone that was cheaper. That's just like how businesses work. It's not, it's not, I mean, it's sad, it sucks for them, but like, how does this deck ever lose? Uh, you lose when people get under you. Decks being too aggressive is one of the reasons why we added copies of Revitalize to the deck. Because we were losing to people going under us. So I'm not, Eve, I'm not saying don't let me not respond to the trigger. Like, obviously I want to be able to respond to a trigger. What I'm saying is once I say yes, let this trigger resolve, automatically discard the only card in my hand. That's, that's what I'm saying. So give me a chance to respond to the trigger, but if resolving the trigger only has one choice it could possibly make, don't make me actually make that choice. Why, why would I destroy Azkanta? You know what Azkanta's gonna do? Azkanta's gonna mean they deck sooner. Are we are we on the decking them plan? We might they might have devious cover up. That's true, or something wild like that. They're on they're on fourteen cards right now. I'm on twenty three. The problem with decking them is I have to stop. I have to stop drawing cards myself. All right, let's let's draw. All 
right. I'm, I'm timing people out that don't understand what I just explained. I would encourage you to go back and listen to what I actually said. If you don't understand why, what I mean by you choosing the only default action. I'm gonna go ahead and kill the Azkanta. Just like choke their blue mana a little bit here. Oh, I tapped one of my spires. I should be more careful. I think someone else in chat is right, Nox, that they recently got they recently disabled it, doing it automatically for certain things. I do I do have blockers. You cannot configure hotkeys at all in Magic Arena. It's actually one of my complaints. I really wish you could. See this, this, this is what I'm talking about. This shouldn't make me click on this card because there's only one possible card I can click on. It should ask me, do I want to respond to this trigger? But once I've said, no, I don't want to respond, let it resolve. It should automatically pick Memorial to War for me because it's the only possible choice for that option. Be, that would just be it just makes sense there's only there's only one possible choice don't make your user choose it the choices we make reveal who we are have a demon lord bells and lock enjoy only 11 cards left in your deck Oh, yeah, their, their car and slid over underneath my picture. Garden Karn's over here. You got me. I guess they're getting Karn back here in a second anyways. Nah, I'd be I'd be in the way there, Night Bugly. I'd have to be really tiny to not get in the way of the battlefield. Evil must not be tolerated. I did I did say just one more match. This is game one, right? I, I said one more match 20 minutes ago and we're in game one. Some solutions must be built. Maybe, maybe we're not gonna get to, to, to six decks today. Five decks, whatever. I like how they're not playing Demon Lord because they know decking out is uh, how they lose this game. Yeah, this is this is definitely not a good deck to play if you need breaks in between your matches. We're gonna decline drawing cards because I don't want to deck out. At a certain point, we're going to destroy all their islands, which is nice. No one has to concede, but why are they still playing? Asking the real questions. Ah! 
Oh no! Please don't gain powerful card advantage by surveilling through your deck opponent. How will I ever win the game now? This will not deter me. The time has come. What are they getting from exile? A sabotage, sure. How many turns ago do I think this game was over? I don't know, actually. I, I feel like this game was pretty close for a while until I realized I could deck them. And until I see Devious cover up, the plan is decking them, I believe. They could have a Nexus of Fate, that's true too. I mean, I'm making Dawn of Hope token, so like, you know, at some, at some point this will be a thing. This deck brings me joy, chat. It just, it makes, it makes me, it makes me feel happy. And what, what more could you ask for really out of a deck than something that makes you feel happy? All right, all right. Eh, it's probably not a Cleansing Nova matchup. Seems fine, seems fine. I think I like it, I think I like it. The fact that the Bombardment stack is so A+, it's really, really good. Um... We definitely win more than we lose. And so here's, here's, this is something that I think a lot of people don't think about a lot. Decks like this one psychologically feel good to play. And here's the reason why. When you win with a deck like this, you spend 40 minutes winning the game. And when you lose with this deck, usually it's because you got run over and you lost in like five minutes. So like, even if you're one in one with this deck, it feels better than if you were one and one because you spent way more actual time winning the game than you did losing the game. So decks, decks like this always feel better than they actually are because the amount of time span that you spend winning is very large in proportion to the amount of time span you spend losing with them. We're gonna get chewed up by a disinformation campaign here. Banefire's not gonna be good for, actually, I'm gonna bin the Star of Extinction because Banefire can check a uh, Hypnotic Spectre or uh, Thief of Sanity, whatever that card is, the three, three drop. That is part of the reason why Tefri's popular. Pick up, pick up the pace. That's a little brutal. So I was hoping to Ixalan's Binding this next turn. I think, I think I'm still supposed to binding just one of these, but we could get ground out here. Double double campaign on the play is really good. Oh, oh, this is fine, right? If they can't recast this, even if they pick it up. So we're, we're good. We're good. Derp. Derp, derp. Derp a merp. That's how excellence binding works. We're good. We're good. We're good. Obviously, they get to pick this back up, but binding says they can't replay it. Today I learned reading the card explains the card. It's a no novel idea. This could be a fast demon lord. We could we could die to a fast demon lord here. And remember, this is gonna say like, if we lose this game, it's gonna be lost very, very quickly, right? Just kind of like showing that whole psychological thing we just talked about. Like if we lose this match, the time we spent to lose the second two games is probably gonna be less than the time we spent winning the first game. Maybe the histories of Benali are not good here and I should like keep some sweepers in. Oh, I've been sitting for a hot second here. Let's stand up, enjoy the ride. Hope, hope nobody has motion sickness. Are we good? 
All right, we've we've landed. Never forget, chat. Sitting for eight hours in a time period is not good for your body. Get up, move around, shake it out. There are lots of companies that make dust that go up and down. Jump around, jump, jump, jump around, jump, 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 bump, jump, bump, and jump down. Go, 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 go. Pre sure. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Super dead. Super D duper dead. I'm going to cut these histories of Benalia. Do I want Cleansing Nova or Seals Away? I think I want some of these Seal Aways. Put the last Revitalize in. Listen, I'm basically a radio DJ. I mix, I mix and match all the bad beats together, okay? We got, got fat music on this channel. All right, please don't spell pierce me. How can we be thin with fat music? It's a good, it's a, it's a philosophical fat, okay? Uh, you could actually read about cards I think are sweet in the new set in my article on Cool Stuffing today. All right, for Cool Stuff Inc. every single week. My articles publish on Wednesday mornings. That should be up now. I'm just gonna ditch the Bane Fire for now because uh, this card's not gonna be particularly useful for a while yet. The article is just titled Stop Asking. How'd you know? Wow, rude. I discarded the Bane Fire too, like a big dumb stupid. Woof. Woof, we've been, we've been played, chat. We've been, we've been played. We've, we've been pillaged. We've been pirated and pillaged. Nice, Mikey. Yeah, the Boros deck is really good. They unfortunately know how our cards work and how their cards work. Bombardment sounds perfect. So do I, they, they've missed a land drop. Do I binding the thematic compass? I think I'm supposed to binding the compass, right? Well, the, the problem with playing the bombardment is that like the compass gives them a land every turn. I could bombardment and then plan to binding next turn. I could just bind the campaign as well. No, if I bind the compass, it does not prevent me from playing it. Oh, it does insulate me from dispersal, which is sweet. Kind of, it's dispersal still picks this up. You know what? 
At the end of the day, chat, we just gotta follow our heart. And if I look into my heart of hearts and ask myself the question, what are we here to do? The answer is definitely blow up their lands, right? Everybody, everybody knows when we look deep inside and ask ourselves what we came here to do, the answer is boop their lands. So let's boop their lands. The deck isn't called red, white binding stuff. Oh, that's brutal. I was hoping to binding the compass this next turn, which is why I didn't put a token on the compass. Someone asked why I didn't put a token on the compass. That's why. So the reason why I didn't take the compass is because I was expecting them to activate the compass and then we get to binding the compass the following turn. So we are going to get another time walk out of this, which is nice. God, this stupid, this stupid trigger at the beginning of our turn. We did at least hit this though, so we got that going for us. Well, it all worked out, I guess. You were drawn a land naturally? You did. Seems pretty good. It didn't stop on our upkeep because there's, uh, the stops have this awkward delay. Bad man. Are we decking them again? Maybe. We'll see. We'll see where the game ends up at. Fire, not doing anything particularly useful. Are we through all three bane fires? I have one more bane fire in my deck. All right, we drew stone rain, so we got that going for us. Come on, Bombardment. Come on, Bombardment. Tilt. Crucible of Worlds also would have been a good draw there. I'm choosing not to hit their, their dual land because if I draw Field of Rune, they're eventually gonna be through all their basics and Field of Rune could be a wasteland for their dual land later. We get two shots to draw another bombardment next turn. Man, I really hope their update with uh, with the new set includes a fix for the stop going away. Deal. Why not scry there first? Because I could have drawn a card, because I, I could have drawn a card that would have been too expensive otherwise. But I take this deck to a tournament if I wanted to have a good time. For a good, for a good time call. If I wanted hilarity to ensue, is there actual nothing to reanimate? Oh yeah, what's it called? Got, uh, got exiled, right? Well, if they don't get pressure into play this turn, I'm gonna start. I'm gonna start strip mining them every turn. Eight six seven five three zero oh, nine. Do 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 do. Beep 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 beep. Am I okay with the compass? I'm not. I just want another bombardment at this point. I don't. I don't even really care what we draw. 
Cause I'm just I'm just doing this at this point. I don't I don't sit down and do deck building from the with new set cards until after the full spoiler is released. Otherwise it's like just trying to do a puzzle while you're missing half the pieces or a quarter of the pieces or whatever whatever percentage the new set is. We're going to blow up plenty of lands, Loom. One more one one more match turned into 40 minutes. Is that, is that the issue? You have to turn, if your sound's not on mono, you can't hear my stream. The Knights say, Ni, nee. thank you for the three month resub. I appreciate that, welcome back. Yours works in stereo just fine. I would say, okay. Did anybody else have to turn their audio to, to mono? I've heard other people say they have issues with audio specifically in my channel before, but nobody's been able to provide anything that could debug it. I mean, that person is far from the first person to say that like they can't hear audio just on my channel and can hear stuff in other channels. All right, I'm drawing cards here because if we draw a bombardment, I want to play that. Otherwise, we'll just keep stone raining them. Zero audio issues. Okay, yeah, it's it's some kind of weird spread. I actually actually messaged my Twitch rep about it, and he said they couldn't figure anything out on their end. So, oh no, they have a one-two. It's a good thing I have this. I'm actually impressed this opponent's still playing. Well, I have, I have spires in place. This thing isn't even a clock for them. And like, I'm killing a land every single turn. And at some point, my opponent's gonna miss a land drop, right? And then they'll be down to three lands. I mean, I'm not complaining. The longer my opponent plays, the more lands I get to blow up, which is what I'm here to do. Yeah, and we could rip, if we rip a bombardment, we're gonna be in a great spot. Oh, I, I've clicked through my spire. Whoopsie. Whoopsie poopsie. I'm giving them giving them hope, chat. You don't wanna you don't wanna take away the carrot at the end of the stick. Yeah, we're we're attacking the blue sources, so eventually they can't cast counter spells, hopefully. Discard this land, because this land in my disc I like I like how it just moves it like from one hand to the other. You're just like, oh, I'll just slide this over here, shall we? They they could they could potentially deck, you're not wrong. Oh, I forgot to scry. It's gonna be okay.
The sponsors like when my hands are real full because then it, it brings your attention over here to the, the Tempo Storm banner. It's good, good cue. That bane fire might have been lethal, but if I if I bane fire them, I have to stop drawing cards and destroying lands, which is just like no good. All right, so I'm gonna change phases so that way their floating blue mana goes away. I think I'm gonna lead on Crucible of Worlds as bait. No, I'm gonna play the Half-Hazard Bombardment. Do I? Nah. No, let's play the Crucible of Worlds out as bait here. Try and bait a negate. They didn't, they didn't fall for the bait, chat. Oh, I don't have enough. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, but like, if they... If they potentially like have a, have a, what's it called? Like a hostage taker? Notion rain, perfect. I, d I just didn't want to play the bombardment out while they had counter spell mana up, chat. All right, they're down to 17 cards in their deck. Look at all the, oh no. How are we ever going to beat these disinformation campaigns? Oh no, oh no. Yeah, Fox News is working overtime today. Excellent. Excellent. I hope everybody's having a good time. I'm having a good time. That's going to wrap up our segment for land destruction today. Um, if you want to see more of this deck, this is one of the many sweet and awesome decks that you can find lots of on my YouTube channel and my website. Um, don't go anywhere today yet, though, because we're going to play a few more decks before things are in. We have another sweet deck that's very sodium-inducing. I'm a big, big, big fan of the uh, draw 